side. We'll get a little light on one side. All right, everyone, we're here to do a little stretch class. We've got um, 15 minutes on the clock and I am going to be using a yoga strap for some of our stretches today. So if you would be so kind as to join me on your mat, and I wanna see if those of you who are sticking around are here with me. Yeah, lucky day, two classes, right? Two classes and no tech support. <laughs> so apologies for the literal live action that's happening. All right, let's begin sitting down. So if you need to sit on a block or anything to elevate your hips or even a chair, I wanna invite you to do that and make sure that you have everything you need to be comfortable with yourself and just take a moment to breathe, lower your shoulders down, relax. We'll put our strap out in front for now. We're gonna just take a long side bend up and over. This is just intended to be a full body stretch recovery. Let's take it forward so we're rotating the chest towards our knee and reaching forward. And then just start to trace your way around front as best you can until you land at the other forward position over your left side. And then open it up into your side bend. Good. And then bring it all the way back up. Take your hands back for a moment. Open your chest and just let that heart shine. And then we'll go to the other side. Yeah, one thing if you're new to my channel, you need to know that I just gave up on trying to make everything perfect, which let's rotate forward. Some people would argue with is annoying. And I would argue that it's actually the way I'm getting anything done. <laughs> let's bring it over. So it would be beautiful if one day I have a awesome team to run things for me and make sure that it's all great. But right now we're grassroots, baby, small business, baby. We make it work no matter what the circumstances. We keep going. Let's open your chest. People forget about that grit. And it's really important, that grit, you know? Take your left leg out. Let's come into a little bit of a side sit. Now, you might want to loop your foot, your strap around your foot here. And you can use it for a little bit more support for yourself, especially as you go into a side bend. So if it's not possible to grab your ankle or your shin, you can always just kind of fold in your elbow and side bend over to that leg. I want to feel like this knee is reaching in this direction. Just There's energy out through the sole of your foot in the other direction. You can really breathe. And then instead of letting it slump down, what if you breathe some life into it? Breathe up into your rib cage and try to push down through the base of your body in order to lift up through your heart and through your rib cage. Good. And then come all the way up if you've got your strap rotate towards your leg. You can take one hand on either side of your foot or you can just bend your elbows and just think of laying out along your leg, gathering as much tension on that strap as you need. And let's just breathe for a couple rounds of breath here. One more time. Rolling up through the center, and then let's unhook the strap. We're going to bring this foot either in front, like so, just in front of your ankle. If you're able to cross it over in a pretzel, then go there. And then we just want to take a little recap of an outer hip stretch. If you took the last class, then we're working still in this outline of the leg. Now, I'm thinking about lifting up dropping my shoulder down and then using all that beautiful rotation in my spine to look behind and see what's there. Yeah. Oh, you painted a picture up in your head. Let's recover to the front. Unhook your top leg and come into a side sit or a Z sit. Whatever is possible for you again, sitting on whatever you need. We're gonna take our left hand to our right knee. Take your right hand back behind you. Do the best you can to sit up and rotate towards the right. 
after you've twisted as far as you can, then turn your head forward. And just think about, it's a very regal stretch. Most of the stretch is on the back side of your torso, on the right side of your torso where you're twisting towards. So you have to keep an active twist as you focus forward, yeah. Good, release. Yeah, thank you, Joy. Talking about how how to navigate those moments. Um, as a health coach, a lot of my clients are making amazing progress and then undoubtedly something in life gets in the way. Let's go ahead and find the strap over your foot. You can take it in your other hand and then find your first side bend reaching over. Remember lifting up a little bit more than you do down. So you see so much progress from people making big lifestyle changes and seeing the benefits and feeling better and having better relationships and really experiencing a level of satisfaction like they haven't done before and then something interrupts that, that rhythm because it's still kind of new in the beginning, right? And it's at this point that many of my clients recognize that it's actually not the avoidance of setbacks that's important, but it's your strategy for how effectively you can come back to the practices that are working for you. And that's a hard switch to flip. <laughs> Let's bring it this way. Lift up and walk yourself forward. Yes. Because life is going to life, is it not, right? Whether it's with your wellness or your own life circumstances, there seems to be something lurking around every single corner. And, you know, I think that a lot of wellness tries to suggest that we can avoid those things. And I feel that is very dangerous when we suggest that we can avoid the stuff of life that interrupts us, you know? Roll on up. Because what happens is if you think that your life isn't going to be hard or shouldn't be hard or that you'll never go through stressful times, then you can only blame yourself when it happens. And sometimes these things are really out of your control. Take your foot here or across. Many times they have nothing to do with you. Right, pulling that knee in, taking a little twist. I think the, the more we can have compassion with ourselves and know we have strategies that we can depend on, the easier it is to get back on track with the things that support us, even if it's just a deep breath, right? Mm, thank you. Let's release. What you have taught me is to listen to your body and mind and be able to say no, yeah, in certain cases. And yes, too, right? <laughs> Let's sit up nice and tall. Rotate to your left. See if you can find that stretch on the left side. And then go ahead and turn your head back forward. Find that regal mermaid, yes. <laughs> We're, yeah, suddenly we dropped into a TED Talk. It happens in these classes for sure, right? It happens. Yeah. It's, we, you know, everybody talks about boundaries. Let's just face it. Topics that surround the negative um, or like things happening against us are much more provocative than topics that focus on like desire and ambition and things like that. We tend to look down on those sorts of topics. I'm not talking about being rich or wealthy or owning a yacht. I'm just talking about like maybe wanting to have a tasty meal <laughs> you know? or a nourishing movement class that doesn't feel like you want to throw up afterwards. <laughs> Come on down. We're going to take it down to your back. Um, so I think you have to talk about your boundaries too, but then you also have to explore satisfaction and fulfillment. It's so useful. Um, let's take our arms out to a T. Bring your legs side by side close together. We're going to rotate the legs over to the left. Allow your right foot to come off and let them go as far as they're able to. 
to open up that right side of your body. If you can keep your shoulder blade, your right shoulder blade connected to the mat, that's gonna be ideal. And then reach all the way up overhead. One thing that I know about this channel that has been so important to me as a teacher is the level of acceptance that you all have for the things I bring to the table. Let's send the waistline back, come back to center, and then we're gonna go to the other side. So imagine a world in fitness where this, what we've done today would be deemed not enough. Meanwhile, we're creating neurological connections and practicing self-care. I think that's enough, right? It's a big battle though. Thankfully, we have our brains online, our bodies are optimized for well-being rather than beauty. Let's come back to center. We're, we're ready to keep fighting this battle for our life, yeah? Let's go ahead and bring our foot. Let's go right leg. I'm putting the ball of my foot onto the strap. If you have a belt, even a bathrobe tie will do. It's just nice to do this little calf stretch here. So we're gonna pull the toes back and then push up like you're wearing a Barbie shoe. <laughs> you know, it's called a, like you're doing a heel lift on tippy toes and then pull back. all the way up. Yeah, this channel is one of my favorite places to hang out, so thank you all for that. Yeah, yeah not hurting so much. It's pretty, pretty good, right? Good deal. Good. Let's do one more time. Flex it all the way down, and then feel like the strap is acting as a little pulley. So pull down on maybe the left side so that the sole of your foot turns towards the left. And that should bring a stretch to the outside of your calf, to a muscle group called the, your peroneals, which can get pretty tight, especially from rebounding, honestly. Good. And then you're just gonna kind of floss or pull the strap to the other side so the sole of your foot faces the outside of your body and that might bring a little internal stretch on the inside of your calf or maybe your arch. Good. Good. Let's go. <laughs> Good job. Colleen's showing up again. She wants that gold medal. Let's circle our ankle now in the with the stretch. <laughs> For those of you who are just watching this stretch class only, we did a brain games class before that, and, uh, and we have a, a we have the most the cutest show off in the chat right now. <laughs> Good reverse. <laughs> I love it. All right, so finish up this last circle, then we're gonna just bend down a bit. And then kick the heel up, 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 up. Stretch, good, bend it down. And kick it up. And bend it down. And kick it up. One more time. Good, let's keep it as straight as you're able to. Take both straps in your left hand just give your body a gentle cross. Now I'm keeping my right hip down on the mat. So. <laughs> oh, freaking You guys are so cute. I love it. You know what, like underneath all this, what the, the theme of it is play. And when you have play in your relationship, you're golden, you're golden. Bring it across and exchange the strap, and then you can bring your leg out to the side as far as you can go. If you want to bend a little bit, that's okay too. I'm just trying to get that nice inner thigh stretch. There we go. And then go ahead and bend it down. We'll unhook and just let it reach, release a little bit, and then let's go to the other side. 
You can leave that right leg long if it feels good to do so. If you want to bend it up for comfort, you can. We're going to start pushing through the ball of the foot and flexing down. Oh, I don't want to do that. Good. Reach. And lower. So my husband likes to look at dogs, cars, and houses that we're never going to get. <laughs> but the other day, he found a husky from the same uh, rescue that Flashlight came from. And I can't stop thinking about them. I can't stop thinking about them. So bad. Good. All right. Now let's keep it flexed. Let's uh, take your right hand and turn the sole of your foot towards the midline of your body so the outer edge of your calf is stretched. And then switch. So next week, you all, I am going to be, um, I have the honor of helping my niece through some intensive um, therapy, um, motor therapy. Uh, my niece has CP and a number of other things going on and she's a wonderful little girl and um, I have the honor of being there. So I will be here on Monday, but we will no, have no other classes next week because I'll be in, in the sessions with her. Um, I'm really excited about it. All right, let's come back to center and then let's roll the ankle around a few times with the strap. So I apologize, but then we will be you back. You went there every summer. Get the husky. You're thinking of. Yes. Well, Flash is a husky. Did the you all know that? You his mom is a husky and his dad is a hound. From yeah, let's reverse. So we're somewhat familiar, but he has very distinct features of both breeds. And sometimes he talks like a husky, but his voice is a little more houndy. He looks like his dad, but he acts like his mom. So it's very interesting. And I wonder if he would be excited for it. Um, let's come across. I can't decide if he's a, he was born into a litter of 12, but I can't decide if he's a one one dog household or not, we will see. Right. Pull across the body. The one thing is holding me back. You know what it is. Fur. <laughs> so much fur. Good. Let's take it across. Although somebody said the other day um, that the fur is flashlight glitter. And I was like, if that's not the best reframe I've ever heard in my life, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah. I think Flash really wants a buddy. He just like, he's kind of like the socially awkward kid who doesn't know how to make friends. So he just kind of shoves people to see what they'll do. <laughs> he's a sweetheart everywhere else, but he's just very awkward with other dogs. All right, really bring it all the way in. Ooh, let's make our way up to a seated position however you can. Yeah, the fur. Yeah, the poodle crosses, I know. But it, you should take it too because I know your house is very sparkly, Joy, <laughs> with all those dogs. All right, bring your right hand. Hold on, see, let me teach this class. We're talking about dogs, I'm gone. Uh, your, your strap is folded in half. You've got your right hand overhead and then you're going to just do the best you can to try to find both straps and then you're going to give it a pull so you get a nice tricep stretch maybe a little shoulder stretch there oh no shedding downward and just take your chin forward a bit. Good, release. And then we'll just come around. We'll do the opposite. Bring it up and around. Kind of fish for it behind yourself. Grab both straps. And just give your hand a little tug as you reach up. <laughs> the pups heard us talking about dogs. They were like, yeah. Bring your chin down. Good. 
release. And then if you have your strap, reach it all the way up overhead. And then let's just take it back whatever level you can. So my shoulders are flexible enough that I can get a really good stretch like right in here, but it's not necessary that you kind of like force it to happen by any means. If you've got the shoulder rotation, there's no pain and you don't feel like you're in a danger zone, you can absolutely do a little rotation of your upper body, but no need to force it. Just find the stretch that works for you. Good. We'll bring it all the way down. Let's do a little meatball and spaghetti. We'll just finish here just with a couple of deep breaths for the day. Breathing it across your chest. Yes, Joy, I will definitely create a little, um, a little clip. I'm trying to do more of them. Trying to find the right software to help me out to do it faster, but I'll do my best. Yes. Now is a wonderful time to just bring in a moment of gratitude for the opportunity to be here, move our bodies, recover. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you back on Monday for Bounce Class. And take good care of yourself. Be sure to stream another class over the weekend. I highly recommend the most recent Foam Roller Bliss. And um, thank you for being here. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Yes. Oh, there's a thumbs down coming on the screen. It's me. It's probably me. It's something. Uh, no, it's something I did. <laughs> it's a weird thing on the Apple, like if they show, if, if it sees a thumbs down, it'll show a thumbs down. It's a weird, I don't know. Yeah, I had my hands the way I did. Like for whatever reason, there's like if you make a heart, heart should appear, but it's only every once in a while that the, the computer, it's way over there, so it doesn't always pick it up, so I'll have to cut that one off. Anyway, you all, thanks for being here with me. I love you right back. I'll be in touch. Everyone, have a wonderful rest of your day. Take good care.